release of Update 39, Ninja Kiwi has bestowed upon us some beautiful gifts, such as the brand new map editor, where you can create and share maps with your friends and the world. The most beautiful, cool skin ever, the bookworm skin with Etienne, he's in a little blanket. But there is some other things we should talk about. With the release of Update 39, Ninja Kiwi has completely reworked every paragon in the game and how it works, changing the cost of some of them, changing the way how it works for upgrading and all of that stuff. So today, we're gonna be getting every, and I mean every, single paragon in the game, trying them out and seeing how we feel about this new update, guys. Let's jump right into the video. By the way, guys, if you're gonna buy anything in the Ninja Kiwi shop, make sure to use my creator code, creator code 2D. If you go anywhere, you can actually just go ahead, you can actually, if you buy like the map editor, anything like that, you can actually go ahead and go into options, creator support, and then you put in code T-E-W-T-I-Y. And then anytime you do any shopping, it helps support the channel, myself, the modders, the editors, the whole team behind the 2D channel. Thank you. All right, first things first. We gotta get the Etty. Ah! Look at him. He's got. Ah! Indeed. Ah, hello. Ha! Right. What's next? Sorry. What? I love it. Salutations. Right. What's next? Ah, oh, it's so cool. All right, but in order to get some paragons, we're gonna need money, my friends. Don't tell a soul. But we're gonna we're gonna use one of our insta monkeys, okay? Just one, just one to get us started. There we go. We're gonna sneak that guy out in the back there. The biggest thing that I noticed right off the bat is our dart monkey, the Apex Plasma Master, is so cheap now. Look at that. It's $127,000 on easy. So I I don't know what it's probably what $130 or $140,000 on medium, and probably a little bit more expensive, like $160,000 on hard which is a huge difference. Like that is a huge change. It's actually cheaper than Super Monkey, right? Like this is $127,000 and the Super Monkey Legend of the Night is 170,000. So literally T5 Towers is actually better than that, right? Which I kind of like that, right? Like it's a dart monkey. Like you don't want this guy, like a dart monkey paragon to be better than a Legend of the Night, right? So I'm actually a huge fan of this upgrade and the way it's kind of like uh, situated so far. Is that the right way? Here, let's go ahead and just get like a crossbow master, get a sharpshooter with quick shots, and this guy can just like clean house, right? He's just gonna be able to do with whatever he needs to do, which is gonna be really, really nice. Glaive Dominus, only 233,000, right? Like super cheap, super affordable. And they used to be what, like 350,000 or something like that? Let's see, the next Paragon, Navar of the Seas, I think that's about the same. I don't think that's been changed. And then Goliath Doomship, 767, which is normally like 900,000. So if you're playing on hard, so I think it's probably around 800,000. So that's about the exact same price, right? These are all relatively the same. Magnus Perfectus. So it looks like Ascended Shadow. So it looks like those are relatively sa the same. The ones that seem to have gotten the biggest change in price is the Dart Monkey and the Boomerang Monkey, which are kind of the go-to paragons, right? Because they were like relatively affordable, but they were still just like not, like they were pretty good but you can still just get a lot of stuff. So are they gonna be just severely nerfed? That's my question, right? Like if we get all of these down, is it still gonna feel like an absolute powerhouse or is it gonna feel kind of lackluster? I don't know. Only time will tell, but that's what we're, that's what we're here to find out, friends. I mean, we're gonna need to get all these anyways, get quick shots. I probably shouldn't have gotten quick shots for that, but I don't care. I, we want to get as many pops as we can. I'm playing on easy just because I want to get as much money as possible and make sure everything is just like relatively affordable, which probably wasn't the best idea. I probably should have played on like a, a higher difficulty just so we could see what like the actual price of things are. I bother, I'm bothered by myself that I'm playing on easy because I really want to know the big the price of things. I don't know why I'm gonna go play on hard so we see actually what the difference is because I think that's really important actually Okay, we're back my friends. We are actually playing on hard difficulty now So we actually are gonna see the difference here. So dart monkey paragon hundred sixty two thousand dollars 297 which is kind of similar So it really looks like the dart monkey is really the one like 900. That's the same That's the same or if not the same very close that's pretty much the same. So it looks like 540, that's kind of the same. So it really seems like the Dart Monkey is really one of the only ones that got like a huge nerf with that. 
which isn't like too crazy, I feel like, right? Like that's not too insane, but I'm still interested to see how the new mechanic works. How do they feel? How is it going to affect the new competitive play? Because I know Paragons are a huge part of, I mean, bosses, elite bosses, and then runs. So I wonder what's like the new play. Oh, look at Eddie's got a flashlight. He's reading with the flashlight now. Look at those. He's got the wyvern. This skin's so good. So let's try it. So let's go. Let's get a Super Monkey Fan Club, Plasma Monkey Fan Club, and then Ultra Juggernaut. So we have all of the T5s. We don't have any other towers, right? So let's do. I want to just do a little experimentation here. Because I want to, I don't know much about it myself, so I, I kind of want to figure it out. So, if I buy the Apex Plasma Master, so I can boost your Paragon with more in-game cash. So let's see. So right now it's 162,000, but I can boost it for a. I can give it another 121,000 for a total of 200. Oh, that's all of my money. That's all of my money. So I wait, wait, I wonder, can I, can I give it more money? Like, let's, let's jump up to like round 80. Whoa, look at Etienne's dragon! Okay, that's so cool. It's like the dragons come real. And then he can like come in and just like beat him up. I love that. Okay, so we have seven, we have $800,000 right now. Okay, that's a lot of money. If I get Apex Plasma Master, can I give him all of it? No. Okay, so the max I can give him is a bonus of five hundred and ten thousand dollars. Five hundred and ten thousand dollars. Okay, that's a that's a crazy amount of money. That is insane. The amount of money that we can give to it. But let's see what happens. So just the three, just the three dart monkeys, right? Nothing else. Nothing too crazy. And then tier fifty-seven is what we get out of it. So that's not bad. It's, but he's still like missing what 43 tiers? 43 tiers is a lot. And you don't get the money back. I can't sell him and get this money that I've invested in him back. He still only sells for 130,000. So let's try to get like a really high degree paragon. Right? So let's go back. Let's go back to like round 20. And then we can just like skip a bunch of rounds, right? So I can just, because if I skip a bunch of rounds, it'll just make some more money. Which will be nice. So I'm just gonna put this over here, and I'm just gonna get us some perma spikes, just so nothing can get by, right? Like I don't wanna, I don't want anything sneaking on by us over here, okay? So we got 1.5 million dollars. So let's sell this paragon, which kind of hurts my soul. Let's try a mixture of things here. Let's see how high of a paragon we can actually get. So we get this guy. We can get crossbow master. We can get another crossbow master, and now we can also get. Super Monkey Fan Club, and probably just get a bunch of Super Monkey Fan Clubs, right? Just like, just as many of these as we can get. Also gonna wanna get them a ton of pops too. So let's just upgrade this to primary expertise. Give it another village. Are they in range? Yeah, they are. Nice, okay. And now let's just put down a bunch of dart monkeys and we're gonna just upgrade them all. Right, we're still gonna add a little bit to this value, right? All right, we're putting a lot of money into this. Nothing, nothing too crazy, but you also want more pops with it as well, right? So let's get, let's get a bunch of pops, right? So let's, let's do just that. Yeah, what he said. Oh, he's got a headlamp now. That's so cool. He's just, he's there. He's, even his blanket is like set up. All right, let's, wait, Etienne. Okay, Etienne's not doing all of it. Most of it's come by our, our dart monkeys are like, are we doing okay here? Oh, we probably should get... I'm gonna get a Homeland Defense. I'm also just gonna get a, a Perma Brew. Because I think a Perma Brew will help us out tremendously with this. Can they not pop a BAD on their own? Alright. So go Super Monkeys! Okay, nice. There we go. Let's see. They only have like 600,000 pops. So they don't have like a crazy amount of pop. But it's also like Dart Monkeys, right? Like Dart Monkeys aren't gonna be getting like... They're not gonna be like clutching it out for us. They're doing pretty good, but nothing like. Let's see what happens now. So we have more T. We have a bunch more towers down. We have t a bunch of T4s, T2s. They have more pops now. Oh, whoa! We need to like speed it up here. Okay. So now let's get the apex plasma. conclusions are made manifest. Yeah, what what Etienne said. Okay. So let's see. Can we put in five hundred thousand? So I can put in another an additional. $510,000. So the last time we got tier 57, let's see what type of tier we get now. And it is a tier 64. 
Wow, that was not worth it at all. Like, that was... I was expecting, like, something way higher. But we only got a tier 64 after doing all of that. So maybe it's about the pops. Like, maybe it's the amount of pops that you have instead of the money that you put into it. So let's try... What is what is gonna be a better one? Maybe the monkey ace, because monkey ace we can get like lots of pops with, right? Obviously we want flying fortress, and then we also want to get a good old sky shredder, and then also you know sar bomba, and then how much do we need? 1.8 million dollars! You can put 1.8 million. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, let's just boost. All right, let's go. All right, I need to go back some rounds too, because I think we need to make even more money, which I think is insane that we're trying to make even more money. Okay, all right, I'm sorry, Etienne. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Etienne. I, you, you gotta be muted for now. Okay, let's just get a bunch of specters, because specters are gonna help us out. Get lots of pops. Nice, they're worth like $20,000, $25,000, right? They're like the easiest thing, because you can just spam specters down, which is really, really nice. So let's just put down a... Let's try to get a really high level specter. And then... Oh, it doesn't... Actually, it doesn't matter. We just need pops. That's literally all we need are pops. I, I don't need to be worrying about these. So let's go up to like round 120. They're boosted. Let's just keep using these and trying to get as many pops on them as possible. And make sure we use the Sar Bomba ability too. Yeah, that's already at 1.8 million pops. How are these doing? They're doing pretty good. Nothing too crazy. How's this thing? 200,000 pops. Nice. Yeah, Sar Bomba. We need more Sar Bomba. I don't know how many pops we want to get here. Make sure we use another boost. There we go. Here, let's just send more and then we can use one of these things. We're going to need to get a couple of monkey boosts so we can just like full send it on them. Let's see what happens here. All right, Sar Bomba. All right, we might and we might not be able to beat this. Uh, we might actually. The fortified BAD is actually taking quite a bit of damage. This is at four million pops, so I think we're gonna be okay here. How's Etienne doing? Three hundred thousand pops, pretty good. All right, we actually cleared it. Okay, how much money can we put into it? I have six million dollars. Okay, you can put in over three million dollars into the Paragon. That is absurdly expensive. That is crazy. Okay, so the total upgrade is $4 million. $4 million. Let's see. We've got 4 million pops on this tower, 500,000 on this, 700,000 on that, and we're almost about to lose. So let's see what happens. Let's get the Goliath Doom ship, put in $3 million, and... 74 still so putting in a ton of money really doesn't seem that like worthwhile like it doesn't like it's good but like man it's only a tier 74 not even close to 100 but it's still not bad so let's go ahead and let's just get all of the paragons now and see how they go because now it's time to just get every single one of them so now i'm just gonna skip back to round one and let's just can i if i skip no Okay, so I just gotta skip this. I just gotta go through all of these. Because that costs $3 million. We're gonna need, like, so much money. Okay, I can use stonks, and that just, like, <laughs> look at all the money. It, like, pours in. Look at valuable bananas. That's made 600000 And then the other one's made 800000 That's $200,000. All right, we're gonna go ahead, and let's just get every paragon... And then just no upgrades, just see what happens with, just spend all our money on it. So Apex Plasma Master, boom, $600,000. <laughs> That's so expensive. You do get like a high tier, right? Like it's not, it's not nothing. Here, sorry, Etienne. You, I, you gotta go for now, friend. You're, you're, you're blocking the way. I'm sorry, Etienne. Please don't take it personally. I love you, friend. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade this to Glaive Dominus. Okay, how much? Oh, 1.2 million dollars. Yeah, that is crazy how much these cost. And you get, so it's, the max thing is tier 56, which isn't bad. I'm actually like, it's not great. Okay, like let's, let's be, it's not great. All right, and it costs all of your money. 
let's see what happens if it's like not all of your money, right? Like, okay, so this would cost 1.8. Let's just do halfway. Let's see what the halfway marker works. So that's about, because it's like 1.8, yeah. So like, this is about halfway, right? That looks half. So let's see, is it, how is that gonna do? 39. Oh, so you can, so wait, I wonder, I wonder if we can like, like get it so it's just 40, right? So let's do the ninja and let's try to get a tier 40 for the ninja. Because they get big power spikes for every 20 tiers, right? So at 20, 40, 60, so on and so forth. So if I got to send it shadow, right? And then let's do, oh, but that's like max money. So I actually need to go backwards. This, we've had to get so much. There's no way you're going to make this in a normal game. Like there's no way that you can make $20 million in a normal game of balloons. That's not going to like round 500 million or something like that. This is definitely an absurd way to do things. Okay, Ninja Paragon, let's try it now. Okay, so the max is 1.7, so this is like halfway. So what if we just do a little bit, so this is just a little bit more than halfway, so more in favor of that. And exactly 40, look at that. We got the wizard, we got engineer. Let's, let's do engineer Paragon. So we get engineer Paragon, let's see what happens. Oh, engineer Paragon's really, how much, how much is the engineer? Seven hundred thousand dollars. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, that's all my money. Wait, no, it's not. That's not all my money. So again, let's just let's try to get a tier twenty. So a tier twenty. So let's say this is forty, and then a little bit over half of that. So like a fourth of the way. Just like a little bit over a fourth of the way. Let's see if we get a tier twenty. Twenty nine. That was actually pretty good. Okay. So now we need to get more money <laughs> because we still need to get the wizard paragon as well. And let's just get the wizard to like tier 60 because wizard's epic. And boom. All right. And that should be tier 56. Okay. It'll be interesting to see how to get it up to like what you need to do to, to get it to like a tier 60. Because I think getting him to 60 is probably like the plan or the play for most of it. So let's sell everything that's not a paragon. All right, so here's all the Paragons in the game. I'm pretty sure I have all of them, right? We've got Dart Monkey. We've got Glaive Dominus. We've got Monkey Ace. We got, we got all of them. 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 Yeah, we got, we... There isn't any others. Got them all, folks. Is this... I wish you could lock the Green Sentry Paragon in place. I wish you were able to do that. You know what I, oh my gosh, I just totally forgot something. I can't believe I just forgot this. I'm gonna go home. Is, there is new monkey knowledge. I'm pretty sure there is a new monkey, yeah, in support. There's a new monkey, look at this. There's a new monkey knowledge point. Paragons attack faster if there are no T5 of the same tower. Like these should all just be way stronger now. Now that we have this Paragon on. This, because, now they should just, at, look, are they attacking faster? I can't tell. It seems like it's attacking faster, but maybe I'm just being crazy. So let's see how strong all Paragons are now. Let's see what round we can reasonably get to. And I don't really have the Paragons in like a very ideal spot to be honest, but. Okay, this is looking pretty crazy. All right, let's jump up to like 250 and then see what happens. All right, make sure we're like absorbing everything. So 15 million, 2 million, 2 million. Yeah, look at our, this 50, 60, only 1 million pops. I'm curious. Actually, I want to get a Legend of the Night right next to him. So let's get a Legend of the Night with Plasma Blasts. So, okay, they, this guy has way less range, but let's just see like, so let's, this guy has 1.8 million pops more than this guy. Let's see if the Legend of the Night, which does cost more money, like significantly more money, or I also put like a million dollars into it, right? Like, so I also put a huge boost into the Paragon himself. So, uh-oh, I, I might have skipped a little bit too many. Maybe not, maybe, maybe we're doing okay here. Five million on the Engineer Monkey, pretty good. Uh-oh, I think I might have, I think I might have done a, gone a little overkill here. No, we seem to be doing okay. Actually, we're holding them back. We are seemingly holding them back. It's just these fortified BADs that might be a problem for us. 
Oh, the legend. Okay, the legend of the night saved us. The legend of the night got us. Okay, we lost there, but I, that, I just I just sent a little bit too many. So legend of the night, nine hundred thousand, four million. So the if you put a million dollars into it, it still definitely does better. Eighteen million on the wizard, fifty-four on the buccaneer, seven million. I mean, and then monkey ace like fifty-one million to be expected. Wait, the knave arc has more pops. And it's a lower degree paragon? Wait, game? Wait, what? This is a 74 degree paragon. And this is a 39 and it's cheaper. And it is doing way better. What? Ninja, how's ninja? 52. Wait, the ninja's doing crazy too. Ninja's clutching it out. I am really can. I have, that's weird. 276 seems to be the furthest we can get. I'm sure we can get further if we're on logs and other maps as well. So I'd be interested. What do you guys think of this new Paragon update? Uh, do you like it? Do you not like it? Me personally, I like it. I think it's cool. I like being able to put more money into it. It seems like it's not really worth it to put money in it. It's probably better to just do the other style of just putting down your T4s and making sure that works that way. But other than that, I think it's a great addition overall to the game.